have the little engine crate going on here on the bottom, strapped in, ready to go. Time to work on the carburetor. This is a new, uh, well, relatively new 850 CFM Holly racing carburetor. No, we've got no, no choke up here. It's all just plain Venturi's going down there. Well, Holly's come to this new conclusion that uh, four corner idle adjustments are apparently necessary. So what they've done is they got a, the typical one here. Now we have them in the rear metering block as well. Along with that comes an idle adjustment, which if you can look down in here, you see a little tiny piece of silver. What that is, is that's the idle adjustment for the secondaries. So if you want to adjust the idle, you have to come up underneath the bottom here somehow. If you have a low manifold, forget about it. So what I did is I went on eBay. And I found this little unit here. And what this does is this piece replaces the standard holly piece there. The, the accelerator pump cam hooks into spot number one or two. They're in the same spot as they're supposed to be. And this will allow me to adjust the secondary idle the same way that the primary idle is done. It's going to save a lot of headaches. It'll save a lot of carburetor gaskets. And I hope it works as it should. So we'll find that out. Well, that wasn't so bad at all. Here's the original bracket where you had to go underneath the bottom to a very tiny screw under here. Now the idle screw is right here. Can you screwdriver right from the top? Works great. Doesn't have any clearance issues. So we have no choke over here either, so nothing to get in the way of that. I think it's going to work out pretty good. Let's hope so. We'll find out when it goes on a dynamometer next week sometime.